Hello, I'm Ruby Rose, and this is my crafting channel. Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to do this design pattern. Um, we'll be doing it to this letter, but for all you need for this is a permanent marker, which I'm using Sharpies, and you can do this on any white surface. Um, I've done it on rulers, and I've done it, um, I've done it on pots. Like, you could do it on a white pot. Um, I usually pick four to five colors, to do but um, you can do as many as you want um, for this one I did light green light blue dark blue purple and black um, I like to keep that one I like to keep in the cool range but sometimes I keep it in the warm range um, on the K I will be doing yellow light blue dark blue purple and black I try to keep it the same as my um, R just because I kind of want it to be matching. So, let's get started. To start, we are gonna take, well, I'm gonna take this yellow Sharpie and start in the upper left-hand corner. I always start, if you could see in the um, R, if I have a sharp point, I start with a flower or something like that to make it start off nicely. Then, like I did on the R, you kind of, you just kind of go with the flow. You make designs. Like right now, I'm just doing some swirls. Honestly, if you make a mistake, you won't notice it because you have so many designs, it kind of fills up. Um, then I just make some dots. Um, you can make triangles. Try to like incorporate some different shapes. And I even, on my R, I kind of even added a smiley face. So you can basically put any shapes you want into it. So I'm gonna turn on time lapse now so you can see me doing it through the progress. You can see what I've done so far. Um, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to connect it now. So what I usually do is I Try to go off the lines that I've already got and make sure they look like they're a part of each other because if they don't, they're kind of not together anymore. Um, and if it looks like they're really, they're not connected, then I always add a couple of like little dots or lines or um, square girls or something like that to try to connect them as best we can. And you see how my blue is kind of turning green? If that happens with whatever colors you are doing, that's not a problem. Um, you could even go in with the, um, like for me, light green to make sure that it blends more. But it looks pretty good so far. Um, Let's, yeah, let's add a little bit of light green in there to blend a little bit better. Yeah, do you see just a little bit of light green really adds it together. So now I'm going to go into time lapse with blue. Now on to blending again. Um, for this one, it's a little easier because I've got a color more matching to um, the color I just used. So I've got dark blue on light blue, which is way easier uh, than yellow and light blue because they blend more together. So um, I'm gonna do that on time lapse.
colors I used. You can see it on the K. On the sides, I suggest maybe putting a word of your choice, like a word that means a lot to you, or maybe even your name. That's what I think. If you want to cover up the sides, that I, that's a good idea. Um, let's take a look at the with the light on. Yeah, it's like a nice little night light. Or, and it makes amazing gifts because you can always, it's personal to the person because it can be their letter and you can do their favorite colors. It's just really nice gift. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing um, how to do a firework pattern on an R. Also the same type of letter. So yeah. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and share. See you in the next video.